Today we are going to be looking at the Tenet Envoy, one of the greatest AoE weapons, potentially the best AoE weapon. We'll check out this build, there's a, there's some other builds that you could also use because of the fact that it has built in cold damage, you could technically just get viral without having the cold mod. So there's some different types of builds you could go with here, but uh, this is the build that we're using. So usually I have my Riven as reload speed and crit damage, so I just uh, I put reload speed on so that we can see what is it going to be like actually oh, i think i actually use it like this to be honest but that doesn't matter we got reload speed and reload speed because without any reload speed it takes four seconds to reload so we have a magazine of eight which is good but the reload speed of four seconds is way too long so one as much reload speed as we can get we get more damage from this multi shot from this damage super near for this this is for steel path vital sense critical delay if you're going lower level stuff i recommend using firestorm to get that 12 meter range instead of the extra damage to grenade hunter munitions and then cry rounds this is pretty much just for viral on the direct impact as well as more damage so like you could use something else here especially because you're getting so much damage from here and everything but reload speed multi-shot 100 if you don't have reload speed it's going to take a while to reload and that's just you don't want that so yeah let me show you guys how this weapon performance also i want to just mention that my tenant on is not 60 yet it's only a 52 percent <sighs> All right, there's actually a steel path of the mission in the void, so I'm going to use Prime Bane of Corrupted, and I'll show you guys what this will look like in a higher steel path fissure. Not endurance, just extermination, and I'm going to do it solo as well, which I would never recommend to do relic solo. The only reason I'm doing this is so that I don't have other people making it super easy buffing me, etc., etc. These guys are pretty much already dead. You see that? Look at that AoE size though. That's without Firestorm also. So yeah, this thing one shots these steel path enemies like no problem. Like my my Tonker's 16 and my Tenant Envoy is only 50, right? Like look at how fast this is going. One shot. Also no reloading until I use eight shots, but then when I do reload it takes forever, which is kinda annoying. But at the same time, you guys, if you didn't know, you can just swap weapons, right? Use the agar, right? That's a good AoE weapon. And then you swap back and, hey, wait, I reloaded without actually reloading. But yeah, swapping to a secondary or even a melee reloads automatically. You see this? See this? You don't even need to reload it technically. If you use this technique where you swap between, you know, other weapons in between using it, because when you come back to it, it'll have full ammo again. So you could go with the fast reload build that I'm using right now, or you could also just swap weapons and let it reload itself for a little while and just come back and it's fully reloaded. Another thing to note, if you're aiming down sights, it, you can make the missile go where you want it to go. As you can see, it follows the laser but at the same time i recommend not aiming down sights unless you're just doing it just for the fun of it because as you can see it's okay well that's a bad example hold up so like let's just check this out okay aiming down sights okay and now not aiming down sights okay compared to this you see how big of a difference that is? You see how slow it is? It's like a third of the speed or something. So that's why aiming down is okay, you know, for just like here's how I use it personally. If you're gonna if you're gonna aim down sights, oh my god, all these X machines all at once. Can you guys just chill? Alright, let me show you guys how good this is against malice. Okay. One shot the shields. And then, I didn't even need a 3 shot, it, it would have been dead in 2 shots, and this is what a 50, imagine a 60, right? So yeah, kill, I mean, it kills faster than the Tomcore, but it also has a slow reload, so if you're willing to swap weapons in between when you're using it, you don't even have to, you can actually just melee too. Just meleeing will also work, so like, I'm at 6 right now, you see that? I melee, then I check on, I'm at 8 now, you, you see that? So it's like, if you, if you want to just use a melee or a secondary on top of it, then you don't even actually need to reload at all. But yeah, as you can see, this thing is crazy. Bigger blast radius than the Tonkor, more damage. The only thing is slow reload can be frustrating as hell. Alright, let's do it with armor stripping, just to show you. 130,000 viral, crazy dude. 
Look at that. Boom. Boom. Red crits. Oh my lordy. Eximus units? Bro, Tonkor takes way more shots to kill these Eximus units, I swear. But look at this thing, boy. No, I'm just kidding. I I, I don't want to be toxic towards people who like the Tonkor. It's good. It's not it's not bad. But the ten envoy, I swear you guys, look at this is this this is the real best AoE in the game. This is the real best AoE in the game. Boom. Boom. Okay, I need to not die okay. Boom. 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 And for arcanes, I think I have Avenger. Okay, so as you can see, as you go, I mean, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and comment below what kind of weapons you want me to show you, uh, like what kind of builds you want to see next time, or what kind of warframes or what kind of content you're looking for. What kind of questions you have, leave it in the comments. I am taking requests, okay? So let me know what you want, and I will do it as long as it's not too crazy. Yeah, thanks for watching, and have a great day. I love you. Goodbye.